Everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to rank all of my Charlotte Tilbury palettes. I have 15 palettes total. Two of them are face and eye palettes, but the rest are eye palettes. These eyeshadow palette ranking videos have been going on for quite some time. Many of my friends here on YouTube have been creating their own version of it, and I've had a few of you ask me, hey, would you mind ranking your Charlotte Tilbury palettes? And I was like, oh, that's kind of a good idea. So it took me about an hour, but I have narrowed it down. This was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, just because I truly love Charlotte Tilbury. I love the formula. You guys know that it's one of my favorite brands, and I like the simplicity of the quads, and I know that they're ridiculously expensive, but for me personally, I just know how the formula works. I know how to blend it out. I feel very comfortable with Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, so I've just fallen in love with her brand as a whole, but particularly her eyeshadow formula. So let's go ahead and jump right into ranking all of my 15 Charlotte Tilbury palettes. So number 15 is the Pillow Talk. This is my least favorite Charlotte Tilbury palette. And the reason is because it just doesn't show up on my skin tone. That's the bottom line. As you can tell, I've used this shade a lot. I mean, this shade is almost empty. This shade right here, in order to build depth, I have to go in it like so many times. And because I have like a medium with like a golden undertone skin, it's just not dark enough. The bottom line is it's just not dark enough. Now, for those of you who have, you know, fair skin, light skin, light medium skin, I'm sure you guys love this palette. I love this shade, which is the reason why you can see I've used so much of it. You know, whenever I would be doing a look, I would constantly grab for the shade because I really do love this shade. So it's not like the palette has went to waste in any way, but... It has to be number 15 because it just doesn't show up on my skin tone. So for me, the Pillow Talk is my least favorite. Number 14 is the Walk of Shame. And the reason for that is, you guys, I just don't wear these shades. These shades are just really pink. It's kind of one of those palettes that I just don't love. And every time I create a look with it, I don't love the look that I create. And so, you know, it just, it is this what it is. These shades are just not for me and they're, they're not really my color story. And that is it, what it is at the end of the day. But if you love these type of shades, this is an absolutely beautiful palette. But for me personally, it just has not worked. Now this shade right here is pretty much the exact same shade as what is in the Pillow Talk. This one right here. I just haven't loved the looks. Bottom line is, I just don't love the looks that I've created when I use this palette. So that's the reason why it's number 14, second to last. So number 13 is the Dreamgasm palette. And don't get me wrong, this is a really beautiful palette. And you know, when I create a look with it, I do enjoy it, but again, it's the same shade. So this shade right here is the pretty much the exact same shade as what's in these other two quads that I just talked about. Um, this is a pretty palette, but it's just not my favorite. It's just not one that I reach for all that much. That's the reason why it's number 13. It's not that I don't love the color story. This gold is really beautiful. This gold shade is very unique and it's, you know, I have a lot of golds in my collection. I have a lot of golds in my collection, but that, this gold is kind of more of a toned down, a little bit softer of a gold. So it's really pretty. I just don't reach for it that much. And it's not that I don't like it. I just don't reach for it. So that's the reason why it's number 13. Okay, in 12th place is this one. Now this is no longer available. This is the Legendary Muse palette. I got this in, I think December of 2017, if I'm not mistaken. This was my very first Charlotte Tilbury palette and it's just weak, it's so weak. It is so weak, you guys. Don't get me wrong, it's really beautiful if you like something light on the eye. Like if you were gonna do something like what I'm wearing right now, where you have a little bit of that shimmer on the eyelid and maybe, you know, a different color for an eyeliner or something, this would be a nice palette to use for that. But every shade in this palette is just so light that I just don't really love it and I don't reach for it that much. So this color right here, which is the pop shade, this shade can barely show up. Like I kind of have to scrape it and then apply it to try to get like really good pigment. 
but these shades just don't really show up on my skin tone that much and they it like it doesn't have any definition and I feel like as I'm applying shadows it's almost like the shades are all so light that they almost all blend together and become one. And it's just not my favorite. At the end of the day, it's just not my favorite. So number 11 is this palette. You guys are probably thinking, what the hell is she talking about? This is the Stars in Your Eyes palette. And I loved this palette when I first got it. I loved it so much. But since I've got other Charlotte Tilbury palettes, I've noticed that I'm not using this as much as I did. I like this palette, but I don't wear these shades back here, and I really don't wear these golds right here, and so it's like I only can wear like these two sections right here, and I'm just finding myself just not reaching for it. Of course I'm going to keep it, because it is a beautiful palette, and all it, there's nothing wrong with the pigment. The pigment is amazing, and I like the variation of the mattes in the palette, but I just don't reach for it enough to say that it is one of my top favorites. You know what I mean? Like, it's still a beautiful palette. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I don't reach for it. So that is the reason why it is ranked number 11. Okay, so number 10 is the Dolce Vita palette. I hated putting this so far back because this used to be one of my absolute favorites. But again, it's the same story as before. I feel like I don't reach for this palette that much, and I love it. It's all shimmers. It's a beautiful palette, but I just don't reach for it that much, and I don't know. I hate it because I really do love the shades in here, and it used to be, like, one of my top favorite palettes, but you know how that goes. Like, as we continue to build your makeup collection, things that used to be your absolute favorite, they get pushed to the side when you discover a new palette that you fall in love with, and... That's kind of what happened with the Dolce Vita. I still think it's a beautiful palette, and but I only reach for it, I don't know, maybe four or five times a year. And so it's kind of like, it's still beautiful. I highly recommend it. If you love the color story, it's beautiful, but I just don't reach for it that much. So there you go. I know, I feel like such an a-hole for saying all this. This was so hard for me, you guys. So number nine is this palette, and I will explain why this one is not my favorite in just a minute, uh, but this is the Easy Smoky Eye Palette. It has a day section and a night section. Now this was an exclusive launch at Nordstrom, so you can't get this palette anymore, but I did buy the Charlotte Dar Darling Palette, so I will explain in a minute why this one is ranked, you know, so low, but once I got the Char once I got the Charlotte Darling palette, I stopped I stopped using this as much. I broke the shade. That's why you can see I hit pen on it. I broke that shade. But this is a beautiful palette. Don't get me wrong. The reason why this is ranked so low is because I have the Charlotte Darling palette and they're almost the exact same thing. The tones are just like a little bit off and that's it. It's almost the exact same palette. So I stopped reaching for this palette because I bought the Charlotte Darling palette and the tones work a little bit better on my skin tone than this palette. So that's the reason why this is ranked so low, but it is what it is. So palette number eight, it is the Stoned Rose Beauty palette. I like this palette, don't get me wrong, but I don't reach for it as much. And my, my biggest complaint, and I talked about this in my review of this palette, my biggest complaint about this palette is that the cheek is so small. Like it's really hard to take a brush in and get into those two shades and not get pick up any of the bronzer and the highlight. I wish that the highlighter would have been in here because the highlighter brush nine times out of ten is going to be much smaller than a blush brush. The blush brush I can barely fit in here to pick up any of the product and I don't like that about these palettes. So that's my biggest complaint about these palettes is I feel like you know, the highlighters should have been right here and the blush should have been over here, but at least on the end, like they can have it the way it's set up, but at least on the end so that you're not in between two shades. That would have been so much easier. But anyway, I like this palette. I just don't love this palette. I think it's a great palette. I think this is like super travel friendly. It's one of those palettes just very easy and everything coordinates together. So, you know, if you're on the go and you're gonna take like a quick weekend trip, this is pretty much all you're gonna need. You know, it's so easy and I do love these palettes. The reason why this is ranked where it's at is because the others that I'm going to talk about are 
palettes that I use more than this one, but I still do, I still do like this palette. So number seven is the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. I do love this palette, you guys. I don't use these shades over here. They're just not my color story. And anytime I wear blue against my blue eyes, it's weird. I don't know what it is, but I don't love blue eyeshadow on my eyes. I, I, I can't explain why. It's just something that I don't like. So I never wear the blue, but I do love all of these shades. And I think this is such a beautiful palette. Uh, but I do use the other palettes that I'm going to talk about more than I do this one. So that's the reason why it's ranked where it's at. I liked how this one had a little bit more color variation than some of her other large pan palettes. So she did a good job on this one. This one's really pretty. So number six is the Green Lights palette. So I just got this palette. I love this palette. It's one of my newer ones. So I've had this palette since she launched all of those four quads that match the eyes. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, but she just recently launched these a couple of months ago. There was four of them. This one was not a new palette, uh, but it was launched within those four. And I've created probably four or five looks with this palette. But the reason why I love this palette is because I love these olive greens and I love her formula. So for me personally, this was like a palette that I knew I needed to get because I wanted these olive shades in Charlotte Tilbury's formula. And this is just such a beautiful combination. Now they're all shimmer. So I've had to kind of work around that because it's, for me personally, it's a little bit hard for me to work with just all shimmer when it comes to green. So sometimes I do pull just like a nice neutral tone brown to kind of work and incorporate with this palette. Uh, and I will be doing a look with this palette in the next couple of videos. So be on the look for that. But this is a beautiful palette. I love it. And I had to rank it number six because it's just really, really pretty. So number five is the Large Pillow Talk palette. This is the Pillow Talk Instant Eye palette. The reason why I love this palette so much is because this has a lot of matte shades in it. And if you are like me and you have several of her quads, a lot of her quads are all shimmer shadows. And so having a palette that has this many matte shades was genius for me and my collection because I do love her matte formulas and I love mixing her matte formulas with her shimmer formulas. They just really work well together. I love this palette. I love all of these tones because all of these matte shades right here, they all correspond so well with her entire collection because we all know she gets kind of repetitive when it comes to palettes and shades. You guys know that. I'm not, I'm not saying anything that you guys don't already know. She gets very repetitive. So because of that, these mattes correspond with so many different quads. So if I have a quad in my collection that has you know, all four shimmer shadows, I, if I'm wanting a matte, I will come and grab this palette and pull some of the matte shades out of here and use it and, you know, and it just works so well together. So this is a really good palette. I'm so happy I have it in my collection and this definitely works for my skin tone more so than the smaller quad. Number four is the Instant Look in a Palette Gorgeous Glowing Beauty. I love this face palette. This one I like more than the Stone Rose only because I love these beautiful shades right here. These shades are more like my style when it comes to eye look versus the one that was in the, um, the Rose palette. I love the Rose palette, don't get me wrong, but this one I feel like just goes with me and who I am personally and what I like. I just love all three of these shades. They're so beautiful. And this I like to, again, I repeat myself, the cheek is just in the wrong spot and it's such a beast to get in there. So in the Stone Rose palette, these two cheek products were very similar to her actual blushes. Um, so for example, this is her blush, so it's it's a two-tone. So you have this outer ring that's a little bit lighter and then you have the center that's a little darker. That's kind of how this one was created. So you have the lighter and the darker and then when you mix them together, they're just a really beautiful shade. But this one, I love this little teeny bit of shimmer with the blush. And I don't normally like blushes that have a lot of shimmer because I have more texture. You know, I'm 40 and I just, it doesn't really look the best on my skin. But there's something about this that just works. It's not too much shimmer and it blends so beautifully with the matte blush. I just love it. This is my favorite face palette out of the two. I really love it. I think it's really beautiful and... 
I love the packaging as well. So there you go. Number three is my new copper charge. So in an upcoming video, within a couple of videos, I will be using this copper charge palette and also my green lights palette. I love both of these palettes. This copper charge is so beautiful. This is one of the newer ones that she just released. This palette and the green lights palette, they are the um, eye color magic range. So they're kind of supposed to, you know, each palette is designed for each color of eyes. So this palette just looks so beautiful on the eye. In the next couple days, I will upload a video of a look using the Copper Charge palette and also the green lights. Such beautiful palettes. I This is one of my newest ones. So my friend Ashley Lamora sent this over to me. So sweet of her. These shimmers are different than some of the other shimmers in her palettes. They're much more explosive on the eye and they're beautiful, you guys absolutely beautiful. I love this palette. It's so pretty. Number two is my Exaggerize. I think this was my second or third eyeshadow palette that I bought from Charlotte Tilbury, and I still love this palette to this day. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes, and I just love it. I love those beautiful, um, I love those beautiful kind of purpley taupe shades. It's just stunning. Now, I've almost hit pan on this shade right here, and I've, I'm pretty down low on this one as well. This shade is perfect on the inner corner. It's not too shimmery, but it's also not super sparkly. It's just very soft on the inner corner. I love the Exaggerize palette. It is so good. I still love it to this day. Out of everything that I have, I still love this palette. I think it's absolutely beautiful. If you have a skin tone that's darker than me, you're gonna start to run the risk of this shade not really showing up very well on your skin. But the nice thing about the shade, it is very buildable. So for me being like at the medium with a golden undertone, I'm definitely able to really build up the shade. But oh my gosh, I love the Exaggerized palette. I love it all day long and it's so beautiful. I love this palette. Okay, my favorite Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is the number one. This is number one. And I'm sure you guys have already figured out what it is because I mentioned it earlier. This is the easy, this is the easy eye palette pop Charlotte Darling palette. This is my favorite palette. And the reason, I wish that her quads were made like this. I wish that she would start creating palettes just like this in all of the shades because this gives you so much dimension. You have three matte shades, three shimmer shades. You can create any type of look you want with just these six shades, super travel friendly. And I love this peachy shade right here. I am obsessed with it. It is so beautiful. Look at that shade. All of her shades are so beautiful in this palette and I just can't help but love it. It's just one of those palettes. So forgive my swatches. These are terrible swatches, but this palette is perfect. I absolutely love this palette more than life itself. And you know, I also love it because it's way more cost efficient. Now, don't get me wrong. I haven't really done the price breakdown compared to how much you get versus the quads, but this is the most, for me, this is the best way to buy a Charlotte Tilbury palette. You're gonna get the six shades instead of the four, and this is $57, and the four pan quads are 53. So. If you're new to Charlotte Tilbury and you're trying to decide which palette you want to buy for your first, I if you like these shades, I would recommend this palette. Charlotte Tilbury is one of those artists that is an expert when it comes to Hollywood makeup and modeling makeup. That's kind of her vibe. And her palettes are exactly that. This is just one of those classic everyday palettes that's for that everyday girl, but just so easy to apply. The mattes blend like a dream. They're very pigmented. Her shimmers are very special. This is just a perfect little color combination in a palette. And it just doesn't get much better than this for me personally when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury. This is definitely my favorite and you get the best bang for your buck. I mean, you're getting six shades for 57 versus, you know, four shades for 53 and you and a lot of the times you need those matte shades you're gonna need those matte shades i will say though if you have a lot of the charlotte tilbury palettes like i do this is definitely not one that you need to run out and grab this palette is very similar to many of the charlotte tilbury palettes let's just say that you bought the pillow talk palette and it doesn't work for you like it doesn't for me because 
the color is so light, this is a perfect option to replace it with because these shadows really blend well and they add so much depth and you can build and build and build and they're fabulous. Now, I love this palette only because of the simplicity of it. But if you're like me and you have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in your collection, this is definitely not one I'm recommending to run out and grab. Three mattes, three shimmers, and they're all shades that I really, really love and they all correspond together and that's it. That's the reason why I love this palette. But it is, again, very repetitive. I mean, it's Charlotte Tilbury. Well, what can you do? But because I love her brand so much, I just kind of overlook all that. I don't know. I can't explain it, you guys, but I do love her palettes. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments down below what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury palette is. I love hearing your guys' opinion. It, it's just as important as my opinion. I'm just behind the camera talking. So definitely sound off down below and let us know what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury palette is. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I I love you all so, so much, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.